in this video I'm going to show you how to read Excel file with the help of Java and later you'll also see how you can use Selenium FabDriver to fetch that content from Excel file for making use in your testing project so go to poi.apache.org and you'll find this page where you get to download this library so go to this table distribution and check for this zip drive once you download this you'll be able to extract the files into your selenium project and here go to the properties then build path and go to the libraries click on add external jars and from this POI library copy all the jar files from main directory also from OOXML lib then from lib as well and once you copy all this into this library click on OK then it will be added to your existing project now for this example I have bought a Java IO then org apache poi user model user model x double s fs sheet user model x double s f workbook and inside this public static void main method i'm going to create instance for the file so file input stream and let's create files equals to new file input stream and here we will create a new file and we will mention the path for the same go with test.xls you can create any excel file and put it into the path after that now let's create instance of our workbook type in xsff workbook work equals a new xss workbook within this pass files make sure that it is properly spelled and once you have that type xss f sheet sheet equals to workbook dot get sheet at and make sure it is starting with first book then we will create a string instance called let's say h1 equals to sheet dot get row which is going to be zero row, which is first and then get cell again zero then let's go for get string cell value now once we have that we are going to just read the values within each row after that so string st1 go for sheet dot get row get cell and get string value let me just copy this and just change the value here get row one cell zero cell value as is after that string st2 equals to then row number two okay and cell value once we have that let's just print this out System dot out dot print ln and here we're going for row zero equals to let's go for h1 first after that we will go for string st1 st2 that we can close our file as well okay 
instance so it is files instance sorry so file start close so what we did we created instance of file then we open that file for our workbook we selected first workbook then we are reading the spreadsheet from row 0 cell 0 to row 1 2 and respective cells okay now we also have to catch the exception so let's start by catching our exception here you can put this entirely into try and catch block okay and simply go for file not found exception when f and type nfe dot print stack dress after that another exception that can be likely to occur is i exception i o e then simply print that ioe dot print stack dress all right now this will just basically read our excel file in order to add a few more stuff into this you can go for import org dot open qa selenium and also import or open QA selenium firefox this is to use our rest of the program to read the value from spreadsheet and then send the keys to search so let's see if we can do that before we will see if our program is able to read this excel sheet Okay, so it is reading our Excel sheet and it reads row 0, 1, and 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it gets value from one of these spreadsheet and search on Google with that keyword. Now what I have done is I have created instance of Firefox then I have managed to get to google.com and there for the text area I found the ID which is lst-ib and now for that text area I am the I'm sending keys which has value from our spreadsheets second row so that name will be sent to that text area and it will search for it so let's run the program to see if it works so first you get all our spreadsheet values here and then it will start our browser instance it will go to google.com search for our specific keyword and it will remain as is Okay, you can take this test further and you can do multiple searches and you can also save your program for send keys you may encounter some of the errors and you can get that in your logs as well so now you know how to read excel file and then use the values from excel file to do web search